who that is? Blowing up my phone. Ooh, the money calling my phone. Yeah, the plug calling my phone. Hey, what's going on, guys? Good afternoon. We have the official trailer for Andor. Uh, Disney Plus, it literally just dropped about three minutes ago. We're gonna hop into it. It's a minute and 30 seconds of brand new footage for this highly, I would say, highly anticipated new Star Wars series. It's more on the political side. It extends from uh, Rogue uh, Rogue One. I thoroughly enjoyed Star Wars Rogue One. Andor, he was a, he was a pretty decent character. I, I really did like him. Um... But basically, we're gonna hop into this. I know Forrest Whitaker's in here. Uh, Mr. Skarsgård's in here. And like I said, guys, this is not everybody's cup of tea of Star Wars. We're not gonna see a bunch of lightsaber battles. I know we might see a lot of aerial battles, a lot of political war, uh, con uh, you know, a lot of uh, controversy uh, in the, I would say, with within the Republic and the Empire. But it's Star Wars, you know, it's Star Wars content at the end of the day. You either take it or you reject it. Like I said, guys, Obi Wan. I, it was decent. I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to, but I was still happy we got Star Wars content at the end of the day, and it wasn't the worst thing ever. It wasn't like that trash ass, you know, uh, uh, Last Jedi, uh, Force Awakens, bolt that Ray trilogy sh uh, crap. Let me not curse, but that was spewage. That was disgusting. So at least Obi Wan wasn't too bad, and I could tell that this. I could tell this show is gonna be more peculiar to a certain uh, demographic. Like I said, I don't think we're going to see that many lightsaber battles in here, but it's uh, going to be more about history, uh, the political aspect. I know there's going to probably be a good amount of aerial battles in here for sure, so let's hop into it. Let's check it out, guys. D23 is still continuing. I'm waiting for some good Marvel stuff, some good Star Wars stuff that we just got now. Uh, just a lot of stuff overall between the Marvel Star Wars uh, film department. They just announced Andrew Garfield as Milo Thatch for the live action Atlantis, the Lost City of Atlantis movie. Me and my, it's so crazy. Me and my sister were just talking about movies that they need to do live action. And we were just talking about Atlantis and here they, and here we are today, them dropping information that Andrew Garfield is playing Milo Thatch. And I just said the other day, Andrew Garfield needs more roles. He's a very underrated actor. And they drop him as Milo Thatch for the Atlantis movie. So two things me and my sister just talked about the other day. We must be psychics. We were just talking about Andrew Garfield and the, and the Lost City of Atlantis. And we get both shoved into one. So I am so happy for uh, Andrew Garfield. And I can't wait for that movie to come out. They said it's coming out 2025. That bit better be magical, bro. That better be like uh, Avatar status, bro. That movie better kill. You're making a live action Atlantis Lost City movie. You can't play with that, dude. You can't play with that. This is one of my favorite animated movies from freaking Disney, period, bro. So I'm happy about that. But let's jump into the Star Wars and Andor official trailer and let's see what it's all about. There he is, what's going on? Scarsguard. No matter what you tell me or tell yourself. The father of all the Scarsguards, the head Scarsguard. Okay, from the Craters of Rogue One. We've chosen a side. We're fighting against the dark. Okay. There's an organized level effort. Drill down and get a hunt started. You realize what you said. The Born Legacy. Okay. Who will suffer? Time has come to force her hand. I love that shot. Everything. Give me the aerial battles, baby. <laughs> Give me the outer space action. <laughs> Some stormtroopers. Show me some good stuff. Yes, I like that shot. That was a good shot. Star Wars Andor three episode premiere streaming September twenty first. Dope, and it's right around the corner. September twenty first. Let's get it, guys. 
Well, that's the official trailer for Andor. Didn't show us much, but I get it. I understand, bro. I get it. Thank you, D23, for dropping that official Andor uh, trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to that. I'm just, you know, we're all here waiting for something epic to drop. Really, I am. Obviously, I'm waiting for that Ant-Man 3 trailer. I'm waiting for that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. And whatever special goodness that they have for us Marvel-wise and Star Wars-wise. If they have any more Star Wars content to give. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next D23 reaction video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.